Hello friends, welcome to Padu's Kitchen. Today's video is about Moringa Olifera, commonly known as the drumstick tree, the most nutrient dense plant on the planet. Moringa leaves are one of the richest source of calcium, which helps in keeping the bones strong. It provides all the vitamins, proteins and minerals needed for healthy living. The anti-inflammatory properties of Moringa can help decrease inflammation and pain. It can also help in healing damaged bones, treating arthritis and osteoporosis. A handful of Moringa leaves contain 7 times the amount of vitamin C in an orange, 3 times the amount of iron in spinach, 4 times the amount of vitamin A in a carrot, 4 times the amount of calcium in 1 glass of milk, 3 times the potassium in 1 banana, 2 times the protein found in regular plain yogurt. Another fact about calcium is that it needs iron along with it for maximum effect. Moringa leaves provide both calcium and iron together. Regular intake of Moringa leaves either in the form of soup or dried leaf powder or stir fry will provide the necessary amount of iron and calcium to the body. As an antioxidant, it helps to protect cells from damage. So it's very important to consume Moringa in different forms to maintain a healthy lifestyle. I can go on and on about the drumstick leaves, but do not want to bore you all further. So let's get on to the quick and nutritious Moringa soup. First we will make the powder. I have taken 1 tablespoon coriander seeds, 1 tablespoon whole black pepper, 1 tablespoon fennel seeds, 1 tablespoon cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon carom seeds. All these aid in digestion. Dry roast all these together, powder it and store it in a glass bottle. I have already done that. Take a handful of moringa leaves, wash it well two times under running water. You do not have to remove the leaves separately. We will be using it as such. In a cooker, if you do not have cooker, you can use any other vessel. Add the washed moringa leaves, 3 to 4 pearl onions, 1 tomato. Tomato is added just for taste. A teaspoon of the spice powder we prepared. If you do not want to use this, just use salt and pepper. Quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, one and a half cup of water. Pressure cook for two whistles. I am turning off the heat, let the pressure subside. Pressure has subsided. Mash it nicely. Strain it using a stainless steel strainer. Avoid using plastic strainer for hot liquids. Add salt and pepper to taste. Our miracle drink is ready. Just try it for a month. You will be amazed with the results. I am saying this from my own personal experience. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to Padu's Kitchen. Also click the bell icon so that you will get notified every time I post a video. Do share this video with your family and friends. Thank you.